When an acid and a base reacts together, this is called a neutralization reaction. And whenever you have a neutralization reaction, you always produce two products. You produce water and a salt. So if you look at this equation, acid plus base yields water and salt every time you have an acid and a base react together. So here's an example. We have sodium hydroxide, which is a base, and I know it's a base because it has OH at the end. And I have an acid. This is hydrochloric acid, and it has an H in front, so I know it's an acid. So the two products that it makes are water, and then the other thing that's not water is what we call a salt. So if we want to write a neutralization reaction, Usually they'll give you the acid and the base that are reacting together. So the first step you need to do is you know one of the products is going to be water. So make water first and water is always H2O. Step number two then is to cross out the H's and the OH's. And it doesn't matter if there's two H's and one OH or if there's three H2, or if there's three H's and maybe four OH's, just cross them all out. That means whatever is left is what you're going to use to make your salt. So after I cross out those H's and the OH's, I have the K and the SO4. So here's the K and it has a positive charge and my SO4 is a negative 2. And I got those numbers off of my periodic table. I know the charge on K is a plus, and I know the charge on SO4 is a minus 2. This is one of those polyatomic ions. Now since those two don't add up to 0, I'm going to have to make the correct formula. So I'm going to cross the charges to make the correct salt formula. So when I had this plus 1 and this negative 2, the 2 would come down here, and then the 1 goes over here, but I don't have to put 1s. So here's the 2 that I put down here. Now we're almost done. The last thing we're going to have to do is balance my equation using coefficients. So since I have 1k here and there's 2 on this side, I need to put a 2 in front of the k as I did down here. Now I have 2 h's over here and 2 oh's here. So however many h's and oh's you have, so 2 h's, 2 oh's, that tells you the amount of waters. So if you had three H's and three OH's, you'd always make three waters. And it's always going to be like that for a neutralization reaction. So in summary, whenever you have an acid and a base, you first want to make water, cross out the H's and the OH's. The two pieces that are left are going to make your salt. Then you crisscross the charges to make the right formula of your salt, and then balance the equation. And that's all it takes to write a neutralization reaction.